I've been involved in, uh, in football for most of my life, so that's about 35 years at all different levels. So I've, I've worked at grassroots level, I've worked uh, for the Football Association on two occasions and I've worked in six um, professional football clubs, either at first team level or now working within the, uh, the academy that we've got here. Well, it's terrific. It's the best club I've ever worked for. It's a very stable club. We have a very clear pathway. Everybody buys into what we do and we know exactly what we're tasked with and uh, what we need to produce. There's a couple of ways we actually develop the players. We either get them in from a, a very early age. So some of our players have been here from seven and eight yeah. years of age, Kevin, come all the way through the team? ranks. Sorry, sorry. So James Ward-Prowse, Harry Reid would be examples of that. Or we'll pick boys up with, with good potential from, from smaller clubs and develop them at a later age. So there are sort of two main themes in terms of developing uh, our players. Good morning, how are we? Good. Good, excited? Yeah. Yeah, I bet I would be as well. Well, we're looking at them as, uh, as people, first and foremost. Um, we need good characters. We've found that the best, the best players, the most talented players, are the ones that have got a, a good background, a very good work ethic. Um, and are very self-driven and focused. That, that's, what, that's what we want. The coaching part is the easy part. It's the person. Picking the right person is, uh, is the one. Swap around. Red team on the outside. White team in the middle. Play. Well, we have a pre-academy. Um, so we, we try to employ one, five, coaches seven, who are good seven, at working with, with there, age three. groups. Um, oh, so no, some, some people, oh, like myself, would not be half. good at dealing with very young players. So we try to employ staff who have an empathy with the different age groups and are good at dealing good and are. using the, the correct language that the younger players understand. As we get further through the system in, into the foundation phase, into the youth development phase and into the professional development phase, then we've got co um, coaches with all sorts of experience. We've got three ex-top uh, players um, who can import their knowledge um, to the, the older end of the academy. Nick, I'm going to give you five seconds to score. Five, four, good try. Run it across, Tom. Well done, Tommy. Sorry, mate. What we set up at the FA is now uh, in, in focus here. So it's we've been at it five years now. Um, so we've got a way of, of coaching the players um, and we stick to it. Self standards are important. Um, we just do the basic things very, very well. Uh, we're punctual, we're very well organised. Uh, and every member of staff, like the young players, they work hard. That, that's a given at this football club. And there is a, a pathway, whether you look from the bottom of the building that, that we're at now, right up to where the first team are, there is a pathway. And young players know, and their parents hopefully know here, if they are talented, if they are prepared to work hard, there's a chance to go all the way into our first team. Keep working hard. Who's going to get the most tags? And stop there. Oh, he's got you at the last second. Advice? Come to training and enjoy it, work hard, leave the pitch sweating and have learned uh, one or two things. If they do that, then they're on the right lines. It's all related around the football, so it's a ball, ball per player, it's, well it's small okay, group work and, and so on and so forth until we get up into the 11-a-side uh, the game. But they must enjoy it. If they don't enjoy it, they need to find another sport. OK, and our full manipulation is now going to be a V-drag. Play! Be very open-minded. Make sure you're always working at your game. Uh, plan the sessions meticulously before you start. Have an understanding of what you want to do in that particular session. Uh, and, and make sure the sessions are, are enjoyable for the players. I think it's a very useful tool. Um, what, what the people see in, in, in terms of the video footage is, is actual Late. real sessions. They're not, they're not stage well, matched, they're not, uh, well, clips are not pulled out. So the players will make mistakes, um, and that's all part of it. But it, 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 it's real; it's uh, it's different, and it, it's not easy, um, particularly when you're working at night and the wind's blowing and, and things like that. So, you know, you've got to take into account that. I mean, people are looking for some sort of a holy grail or something that's that's magical. What it isn't. It's what you do. It's the it's the the calibre of the coaches you've got, the character of the coaches, and the character of the players and keeping the sessions very simple, um, game related, directional most of the time, and that's easy. 
the hardest things in, 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 in work.